From Hyper-V Manager, go to New and select Virtual Machine. Press Next. Name the Virtual Machine and press Next again. Select Generation 2, then press Next. Type the amount of memory you want to give to the virtual machine, then uncheck the box next to use dynamic memory for this virtual machine and press next. Leave the network connection to not connected until you finish installing the windows. Otherwise, you will encounter the step where you can't finish the windows installation without creating or logging into a Microsoft account. Press next. Type the storage you want to give to your virtual machine and press next. Select the Windows ISO file, press Next and Finish. Right-click on the virtual machine you created and go to Settings. Select Security and check the box next to enable Trusted Platform Module. Go to the processor and select the number of virtual processors you want for the machine, then press OK. Now, if you press Start and then Connect, you might encounter this error message. To bypass this, you need to do the Next. Make sure you have the machine turned off and press Only Connect. After you press Start, hold any key from your keyboard, for example, the spacebar. Press Next, then Install Now. Select, I don't have a product key. Now select the version you want. I recommend installing the Windows 11 Pro, then press Next. Check Accept, then press Next. Select Custom Install Windows Only. Select New and Apply, then press Next while the primary drive is selected. Select the region and keyboard. Name your device or skip the step. Select personal and press next. Set a name for your user and press next. If you don't want a password for the user, just press next with the empty field. Press Next for the last steps. To enable the sound for the virtual machine, press on the Show Options. Select Local Resources. Click on Settings. Select Record from this computer and press OK. Press Connect. Sound is enabled now. The next step is to enable the network. To do this, first turn off the virtual machine. After the machine shows off, right-click on it and go to the settings. Go to Network Adapter and select Default Switch. Press OK and start the virtual machine. The network is enabled now and your virtual machine is ready to use. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. Your support means a lot. See you in the next video.